darkness that are down on the ground talking about everybody. You think an eagle is something by himself? Let him get with another eagle. Oh, wonder how much further you would be if you would focus on being synergistic with other eagles rather than expending your energy trying to change chickens. Nothing against chickens. I had one yesterday. I eat them, baby, but I don't fly with them. <laughs> Are there any eagles in the house? I said, Are there any eagles in this house? Are there any eagles in this house? One of my favorite stories is about a man. Now this man is walking down a path and finds an egg, an eagle's egg. He takes this egg and puts it into the nest of a backyard hen. Pretty soon the eagle hatches with the chicks and grows up with them. Now all his life that eagle did what the chickens did. He would poke around in the dirt looking for worms and insects to eat. He would fly a few feet into the air like chickens do. And he'd cluck around. And as time passed, that eagle, he grew very old. And one day, he saw something above him. This thing, it, it glided gracefully and majestically through the clouds. What's that? The eagle says. Oh, that? That's an eagle, one chicken responds. He is the king of all birds, the master of the skies. But we belong to the ground because we are just chickens. Don't worry about him, you will never be that. And that eagle lived and died a chicken because that is what he thought he was. This new year, it's time to take flight. You and me both know that you don't belong where you are right now. You don't belong with some of the people you're around right now. You got no business doing what you're doing right now. You're being a chicken when you were born an eagle. So now the question is, how long is it gonna take to make the decision, to make the shift and show some courage Show some character. Let me, that word character is funny. You know, character is the ability to carry out a resolution long after the excitement of the moment has passed. I'm going to say that again because some of y'all might have missed it. Character is the ability to carry out a resolution long after the excitement of the moment has passed. Are you going to say you want to want to do something? Do it for two weeks and then quit? like you did last year, like you did the year before last? You say you wanna lose weight, get in shape, get your business off the ground, get closer to God, and then turn around and party, get lit, drink alcohol, eat like crap, and continue to live below who you were created to be, thereby committing the greatest sin known to man? No, 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 I'm not, I'm not religious. But I'm going to take you to church. Watch this. See the word sin. Watch this. See the word sin comes from the Greek word sin used in archery. It means to miss your mark. The greatest sin in life is to miss your mark. To not be who you were created to be. To be a chicken instead of an eagle. I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, growing up, the story of Icarus. 
What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Whoo! I wish I could play that whole entire thing for you guys. But whoa, 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 whoa. What's what's going on? I hope you guys are ready to soar, fly, like just like an eagle. Spread your wings and let's make some money tonight. How's that sound? Who's ready to be an eagle with me? Who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So, guys, what's up? This is your favorite investor, Mr. Invest with Jay, also known as Jeff Money Making Kirkland, here with another uh, course to give you guys just something, a little bit of something, something on the end of market structure. We're going to go over a lot of different pairs today. Uh, a lot, I've been a, been a while, been away for a while, but, you know, we back at it, back at it, back at it again. And we're going to go ahead and get it started here, guys. So, um, let me go ahead and take this annotation off my charts. And if you guys have any pairs you would like to look at tonight, don't don't hesitate. Drop them in the chat box uh, so I can definitely get to them. We can definitely take a look at them. Uh, but first, most importantly, my favorite, we're going to start off with GU. All right. Now, guys, of course, dealing with market structure. I know I have some new newcomers here. Dealing with market structure, you guys all know that basically when it comes to market structure all right market structure is basically you know marking up your charts very naked not really using any indicators or anything like that but really trying to figure out and anticipate the next move in the market what is going to happen next okay and we're going to do that with a series of steps um if you know my steps my my three simple steps that i love using every single time when I'm marking up my charts, please drop them in the chat box. But I'm going to go over them again here. So first things first, we always want to start on a higher time frame. It doesn't matter if you start on a, on a weekly or monthly or daily. Either one of those are great, great time frames to start on. Um, in this case scenario, we're going to start here on the weekly. All right. So GU on the weekly cycle, right, we had a big area of huge support system down here right we have to keep in mind it, every price is ever since price came down here in 2016 it's done nothing but rejecting that's exactly what it did here in august of 2019 came right back here and rejected and pushed all the way back up so the main areas that we can mainly mark off is a main support area all right where we see price really rejected off of it and a main resistance area, which we're going to take this area right here, right? Because even if we took this back, right, you can see how support turned into resistance all the way back here. All right. So technically, you guys can say you're in some type of, on a weekly scale, a big consolidation. Price has done nothing, but very easily it's came inside just, just this area here. We've just bounced from, you know, one one resistance back to the support back to the resistance and hopefully we'll be looking for the next potential uh, area up here of course this is on a weekly cycle so it's going to take a couple of weeks for us to actually get back up there all right but, but that's what you could be expecting on gu on the weekly weekly basis now what we always do we always want to scale in okay so it's very important that you guys take your charts and take it to auto fits data to screen, all right? And this is tradingview.com. You just wanna to go to your right-hand side of your screen and go to auto fits data to screen. That way you guys, anytime you change your time frame, okay? This is gonna automatically take you to exactly what you need to be looking at on the charts without you having to mainly be moving it all around, everything like that, all right? So from the weekly, went right down here to the daily, okay? We don't need to look back at you know 1969 to see what's all the data that's going on we just want to look at what's currently going on all right so you guys can clearly see right on the daily scale gu has been doing nothing but rising right Let's just look at it it's just from ever since august 2019 uh, 2019 it's been just shooting up ever since then okay so it's clearly that we can say this is on a nice little uptrend all right but what do I like to do? I always like to go to my line chart. My line chart are, is going to show me these little peaks here, right? Let me draw them in here, okay? They're gonna show me, see these little peaks here? All these little endpoints, 
right? These are very significant in the market, okay? Because this is where we're gonna draw our trend line. We're gonna draw a trend line based off that, off those peaks, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna grab me a nice little trend line. And I'm gonna start from one end, right? And let me change this here. I'm gonna put on like a little arrow, all right? So I'm gonna grab it from one end, and I'm just gonna go from one to the next to the next. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this line and extend it straight out, okay? I'm gonna make this very easy, very simple. Just extend this line straight out. Now, the reason I like using the line chart in particular is because I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see. But you can see how there's nothing right here where I'm pointing at. There's absolutely nothing right here. But to make sure that this trend line is accurate, I like to see multiple touches come off this trend line when I switch back to my candles. Now, keep your eyes right here, right? And you're going to see, look how we got wicks. Wicks just coming straight down to this, to this trend line, all right? So that tells me this, this trend line is valid. So the next thing that I'm going to do, right, I'm going to take this line, and I'm not going to move it. I'm just going to clone it. I'm going to right click, and I'm just going to clone right over it. Okay, just like that. Now, what I want to do with this line, I don't want to move it up and down. I just want to take it, and I want to take it to an area where I see up, up, up peaks. So I want to see some peaks in the upside. So in the peaks that I'm looking at in particular, right, there's multiple different ones, but we have this one here, which is a big, big peak, right? So I want to connect off of this one because I could clearly see there was some type of rejection off of here, right? Now, the more peaks that you have, the better accurate this is gonna be, all right? But I'm gonna use that one, for example, all right? Because we could easily take this as well. We could put it, you know, we could put it here, right? Now, I actually may put it there, and let's just see, hold, if I get a wick here, a wick here, and maybe a wick up here, then this is gonna tell me this line is, is valid, more valid than the other one, let's see. Let's see if I can get some wicks, all right, perfect. So now you guys can see exactly, let me switch back to the line chart so you see exactly what I'm talking about. But watch out, we have wicks here and we're gonna get a nice little wicks coming up here. That tells me that this trend line is valid, okay? So this is what I call just boxing in price. I'm, I'm, I'm basically boxing in price to a point to where I'm basically telling myself exactly what we did here on the weekly scale, right? We just boxed it in with support and resistance. This is exactly what I'm doing with the trend line, okay? So you can clearly see every time price hit down here in this area, okay, what did it do, right? Every time it came down here in this little area down here, let me draw a little zone for you guys, All right? Make it a little yellow, that's fine. But every time price came right down here in this area, right, we rose off of that, right? And every time it hit this area up here, we dropped, okay? Does everybody clearly, clearly see that, clearly understand that? Type I in the chat box if you got it, all right? Perfect, 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 all right? So when we're anticipating our next move, what we wanna look at is basically, we can basically now say this area up here is what we're going to call our resistance. Why? Because every time price touched up here, we reject it off of. This area down here, we're going to call our support. Every time price touched down here, it, you know, went up, right? So when we're thinking about a trend in particular, right, what does a trend do? A trend, right, an upward trend, we have movement just like this, correct? Movement just like this, right? This is the exact same thing happening right if i took a trend line just right to this right let's just say i clone this line and when i cloned it it looked like this right so right now currently you know based off this little drawing scale i just did here right now currently price is at resistance so in order for price to go back up it is important for you to understand that price will have to drop okay to an area back where there was a major support or resistance to continue to go up in that upward motion, right? Because this is just how a, a, a trend is established. That's just how a trend is established, okay? So we have that here, right? On a bigger scale, we have it, one motion, we have it going up here, 
okay? And we haven't had that full drop yet, so we know we can be anticipating for some type of drop to come, right? Maybe not all the way back down to here just yet, all right? But we could be anticipating something along that notion to happen, right? So that's what we see on the daily scale, right? So the same thing we did on a daily, we zoom into the four hour, right? The four hour, which is what we're looking at right here, is gonna show you the exact same thing, all right? You just have to be able to clearly identify the trend, all right, and pick out exactly where you're gonna enter that trade. So I'm gonna go right back to the line chart yet again, right? What peak, right? What peak would I be using this time? Okay, this time I'm gonna take from the lowest peak here, this peak here, this peak here, and I'm gonna establish my trend line based off of those peaks, right? Now watch how we're gonna get the same exact results. The same thing we did on the, on the, bigger, on the bigger scale, we're gonna do it on the smaller scale now, okay? This is how you guys can anticipate where this drop, how far will this drop, right? How far? I'm gonna take this line, I'm gonna clone it, all right? I'm gonna take it up and I'm gonna find some, up, some upward peaks, okay? So let's see if we can find more than one. I'm looking for at least more than one, right? So I'm looking at this peak over here. I'm looking at this major peak over here, right? And I'm establishing it just coming, this peak here, coming here, right? It's cutting through price a little bit, which is fine, right? That's fine as long as you have multiple peaks. As long as you have multiple peaks. I'm going to show you why this is valid. Right, so what are we looking for here? We're looking for some type of wick here to tell us this is valid. There it is, you see that? Came right to it, pinned it, and went up. So when we're looking at to see exactly where is this, where could this potentially come down to, right? We know it has to come back down because on the daily scale, we're at resistance, right? Right? So even if we took, let's just say, we, we originally saw, right, let's just say if I blinded out originally, I'm gonna show you guys multiple different ways, right? Let's just say we took this out. We didn't see any of that, right? But we came in here, but what we did see was this area here, right? I'm gonna just draw this completely over. We saw this area of resistance here, right? Remember what the daily looked like. We saw this area of resistance. Every time price touched up here, it rejected, right? So there was another area of support. It's just basically kind of like it was just consolidating with inside this area, right? So somebody tell me what happens after consolidation. After consolidation, we typically get what is, what is called what? Breakout. A breakout, exactly, right? So after consolidation, we will get a breakout. Now, understand this, right? I'm going to go back to the weekly, the weekly scale here for a second. But understand this. Just like on a bigger weekly scale, look at how we had this consolidation here, right? If we were just looking at this up, down, up, down movement. After that breakout, it broke out right here. Bam. Okay. Broke out. You will always get a retest of that zone. So you get that breakout you will always get a retest of that zone, right? So keep that in mind because when we're looking at this on the four hour, this is exactly what happened. See, we got a breakout, broke right out, boom. So now we're looking for a retest of that zone. See how I did that? That matches right up with exactly us coming right back down here to this trend line. Does that make sense? Right? If you got it, say got it. If you don't, we can keep explaining it. Right? Got it. Got it. Perfect. Perfect. All right? So we're going to be it. looking for some type of retest to come back down here to this zone. Now, we don't know what's going to happen when it gets back down here. Because when it gets back down here, this could easily come right back down and start consolidating right back inside here. That's good for us. Because if it does, we know that this is an easy trade we could easily take right down here to the bottom. And we could easily keep trading inside the zone 
until we potentially get a breakout of this area, right? This consolidation, right? Because this could easily be a fake move. We don't know. But if we get a breakout this way, what should we be waiting on before we enter this trade to keep taking it short? Retest. 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 Exactly. We wait for the retest and we take it short again. Okay. okay. I, honestly, I do see this big move eventually, eventually happening to get us back down here on the daily scale. Watch, watch this now. Right. I'm going to put it right back on the daily. The same exact markup I just did, but explained it to you guys by breaking it down in little bitty pieces. I eventually do see us getting back down to this area before we eventually end, end up pulling back up again. And we're going to be looking for the same thing when we pull back up, okay? So going into next week, my bias, honestly, for GU, I would be potentially be looking for the sell. Okay, at the beginning of the week, I would be potentially looking for the sale. Let me, uh, I think my screen just froze up a little bit. I don't know. Let's see here. All right, there we go. All right, so let's talk about how we can get in this sale. How can we get in this sale, right? This is where we want to start looking in market structure. There's many different patterns that you can look for, which I call them reversal patterns. Some people call them, you know, all, all kinds of different patterns. I'm talking about butter, you know, some people call them butterfly, garlic, you know, all that kinds of stuff, you know, heads and shoulders, all that stuff. This is where you want to get in detail to start looking for those patterns, right? To keep it easy and simple, I look for M's and W's. Very easy. M's are always going to form at your resistance. Don't believe me? Here's one right here. We have a nice M formation right here. Where did it form? At a resistance, right? Once it reformed at resistance, it came right down here and made a W at support. Ws will always form at your support. M's, resistance, W, support, okay? So what am I going to be looking for up here? I'm going to be looking for some type of M pattern, right? I'm probably going to go down to a smaller scale maybe something around like the one hour, okay? And I'm gonna be looking for a M pattern. I'm gonna be looking for some type of M pattern. So maybe, right, maybe this could be the first leg of an M. Maybe we could get the pullback here and then we could get that dropped like this. That's something that, that could potentially happen, right? I'm just telling you little things. This is where you want to start to analyze the markets and look to see exactly what, what do you see, right? Or maybe that's not an M pattern. Maybe it could potentially be a nice head and shoulders pattern. Form up like this and drop like that, right? But either way, your bias should still be to short this trade, no matter what you're looking for. Your bias should still be shorting until you see something else that tells you to buy okay so for gbp pairs uh because typically when one gbp pair moves in that direction typically the rest of them will go in that direction as well um and euro gbp will move in the opposite direction okay uh because that's its correlation pair so we're going to be looking for something some type of movement along the lines of that now if you didn't take the trade up here that's fine. You still want to imp implement the three rules, the impulse correction continuation, okay? You still want to implement those three rules, right? Still go to your line chart, do the same exact thing, right? You can get a little bit better entry. Maybe take from these little peaks here and draw this, extend this line up just like this, okay? All right? You could take from these little peaks here, right? You, if you wanted to, you could clone this. This is just how I'm doing this on a smaller, as, as you're going to see, I'm just going in on, on the smaller scales, just to trap price and close price to see where is the best areas that I can look. Now, look at this. Now, we got support here. This is resistance. We know we have to make it back down to this area, okay? 
So what could we potentially be looking for? If we were looking for a big swing, right? This move here is gonna be about 92 pips. So that is pretty a good swing. That's a good swing there, okay? But let's just say if we were looking for it to come down here. The same exact thing, I know I'm drawing a lot of lines on here, stay with me, but it's gonna make sense. The same exact thing. If we get a breakout, follow me, change colors a little bit. We get a breakout of here, what should we be looking for? If this starts to break out, coming down here, what should we be looking for? First for it to do what? Are we gonna chase after this? No, we're gonna look for the retest, exactly. And we're gonna keep shorting it, right? That exact movement, just like that. The retest, impulse, the correction, and the continuation move. We want to enter on that continuation move, right? It's always going to happen, guys. I promise you, don't be afraid. Of, don't, don't have a fear of missing out on your trades, okay? If you miss that first initial move, don't worry about it. It's going to pull back. It's going to pull back, right? Let me show you, right? Some of you guys were afraid, you know, you know some of you guys traded NFP. I did too this morning. I'm not going to lie. But look. Some of you guys were afraid this morning. You, you came into the markets of London, and you were like, man, I missed the move right here. You're like, man, I missed it, okay? But if you were to listen to what I said, right, let's just, let's just mark for kicks and giggles, right? Let's just mark these areas right here, right? So this was resistance, okay? This was, I'm sorry, this was resistance up here. And this was support, right? It was bouncing off this area, okay? So what did price do? It broke out, impulse, you missed it. Oh man, shucks. But no big deal, did you? You didn't, because look, impulse came down, came right back, retest off that same zone, and look, you had the move right there. You could have caught this whole entire move here. You didn't miss anything. You didn't miss anything, right? Just because you missed this first move, so what? I promise you it's going to always give you some type of pullback to keep continuing, right? As long as your bias is correct, it will happen. It will happen, all right? So keep looking for that to happen. This is nothing but a big, you know, on a small scale, like 15 minutes. We're not doing anything. We're just constantly still retesting off this area. Here, that's all we're doing. We're just retesting, 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 making higher lows. No, I'm sorry, making lower highs and lower lows, right? Just constantly retesting, just like this. It doesn't matter how you do it. You can still put a, trend, a nice little trend line right on it, okay? You can still put a trend line right, going right down it, all right? So that's going to be GU. Let's move on. I just wanted to share that with you guys for today, right? Uh -oh. Let's move on to G, G A, right? G A. Where do we want to start? We want to start on the daily, right? Because this is where we can see some stuff happening. We could see, right? We can start daily. We can start weekly. It doesn't matter, right? We can still see weekly scale. What have we been doing? Start from the peaks, 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 draw your line up from each peak. Okay? There we go. Right here. Clone that line. Don't forget it. Clone that line. Right? Take it to the top. Right? Go to the top where you see peaks. Multiple peaks areas here. If I want to make sure that this line is cloned correctly, I want to make sure that. I'm getting wicks, wicks to this line. Let's see if we can get some wicks. I'm looking for a wick here, wick here, maybe some wicks in here. Let's find out. Boom, baby. Dead on. Look at that. Wick, wick, right? So it's safe to say, what? This even looks better than GU, honestly. But look, everything here was 
support. Everything here was resistance. What did I say? I said, if GU is going to drop, chances are the rest of them will too, right? You can clearly see we are at a major resistance area, clearly. So what am I looking for? I'm going down to the daily, right? I can see this daily trend here established. We could draw that, right? We can do that. Come in here. Start from one, the lowest peak. Bring this line, extend it up. Okay. Uh oh, my line went away. From here, take it, extend it right up, drop it, clone it, and close price as much as possible. Right? I'm going to go off of. Uh, I think I'm going to go off of this, this peak here. I don't want to really put it here unless there's a unless there's a wick here then let's let's see yep never mind we can put it there right we can put it there see that wick that told me that this line is valid i love it right so now we know we're we know we are already in big resistance area all all in here okay so the daily we know we have to come back down to here we know that we we know we have to come down here Right to me, honestly, what somebody tell me what is this right here? Right, I'm referring to this area. What does this look like? This just this right here. What does that look like? Head and shoulders. A head and shoulders pattern, exactly. Right, it looks exactly like a head and shoulders pattern. It looks like the left side has already established. It looks like we're getting the head. Okay, maybe we'll get the right shoulder come next week and keep continuing dropping. Now, obviously, this is on a daily scale. So daily scale, we know we have to get back down here in order for this to keep, keep going up. Okay, but that looks clearly, right? Let me draw in here. Like a left shoulder. Here's my head. Come back down to here. We know we have to come back here. Maybe we'll get a right shoulder as that retest. Look, guys, I can't make this up. See that? I can't make that up. Left shoulder, head, impulse move, down, comes back, retest, right shoulder, and we're moving, and we're moving to the downside. Okay? Now, let's, let's go ahead and scale in a little bit, right? Let's go to the four hour, because we want to take advantage of this sell, right? We want to take advantage, okay? Maybe we have up here a potential, right? Because I'm not seeing anything really major in here, but just a lot of support and resistance, right? We got this little area of uh, support, this little area here, which was resistance, okay? So maybe we know we got to get some type of pattern first. If this is going to drop, we have to get some type of pattern, something like this M pattern. So maybe we can get some type of M pattern. I don't know. Maybe something like this. Okay. And maybe we'll get this, this, this to drop here, which would be our first, our first take profit. First take profit here. And maybe second take profit down to here. We don't know what it's going to do when it gets down here. It could break. All right. We don't know. Maybe, maybe some of you guys know I'm, uh, I, I love my mirror image. Okay, but maybe on a smaller scale, right? If you can see it, maybe this is starting to be a head and shoulders. I don't know. Maybe this is your left shoulder. Uh oh, I kind of drew that backwards a little bit. But maybe this is your left shoulder. It just consolidated. That's fine. That can happen. Maybe we'll get a head like this, come back, make us a right shoulder, and we'll get this drop to come down here like that on a smaller scale. I don't know. I don't know. You, some of you guys know I love my mirror image, right? So let's, let's put the mirror image on there. We know based off the mirror image, we have to make some type of movement that has to get copied, right? Because what happens on the left side, it has to happen on the right side. Boom. 
See there? Now I just put it together for you guys. Look at that. That's perfect. Look at that. Right? We get that nice M pattern, like I said. Boom, 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 boom. Come back down in here. Maybe get a consolidation, make this head and shoulders pattern. Give us a breakout, and we break to the downside. Because we're on a big daily resistance, maybe we'll get the breakout here, come back, retest here to make the big head and shoulders to potentially fall, right? You guys see how market structure, right? When you're planning out your trades, how market structure can really, really help you identify where the trades are going in, which direction they're, they're going to go, right? Is this easy or what? This is easy stuff, easy stuff. So that's G8, okay? G Swissy, same, I oh mean, G Swissy looks the same without us even having to do anything, right? It's the, it's the same stuff, right? I'll mark it up quick. But if we started on the daily, that's fine. All right, I'm going to take it to the line chart yet again. Give me a nice little peek. Find some peaks. Stretch that out. Clone this line. Enclose price as much as possible. Maybe we'll get some peaks here. I like kind of like this one a little bit better. Yeah. Because it's connecting here and here. It's the only reason I'm saying that. All right. So we're still yeah. up here in this resistance. Yep. Excuse me for cutting you off. Can you show me how you make that double line? Yep. You just right click on, on the line you already drew. Right click and clone it. There's a clone button there. Got it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Good question. Good question. All right. So same thing here. Support, resistance. Either way, we're still looking for this move down. We're still going to be looking for the move down. This looks like a head and shoulders here. Maybe half of it. Come down, consolidate, break it, keep coming down. We keep moving down, right? We could do that. We don't know. It's very important that you don't do anything here just yet until you see what's going to happen because why? Why, why wouldn't you do anything? majorly right here waiting for the I retest would, right because we don't know if we don't know if this is going to retest we don't know if this is going to drop here come back and retest or we don't know if this is just going to pull here and keep going up this can easily do this and keep going up to here we don't know we just don't know that's the forex market for you it's tricky, but we take advantage of the best opportunities that we see. This could either pull here like this, or we could have option two here, come back, retest, and keep pulling down, come back down to this area. First stop would be here. Why? Because this is the last area where it pulled up at, okay? So we could either get either one of those options. We don't know, all right? GJ. Man, GJ looks the exact same. Guys, I can't make this up. If you're not taking advantage of the, of the GBP pairs, I don't know what to tell you. They all look the exact same. Look at it. I can't make that up. Right? For those of you who want to see the line chart, it's there. Right? I'm going to make it a little bit accurate. I like things accurate. Okay? Look at it. It's right there. Boom, 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 boom. Either way, I'm still looking for a drop. I'm still looking to sell. I'm looking to sell. That looks like a multi-directional flag. Yep, it could potentially be. Could potentially be. Right? GCAT, same thing. GCAT looks like it looks like it. Honestly, GCAT looks like it wants to keep going. Maybe GCAT may come all the way up here. I don't know. I mean, it's all it's already about about there. Right now, we're sitting at this area, so we don't know what's going to happen here. We don't know. This could potentially stay here within this area, or it could just go ahead and keep going up. Right? We don't know. We don't know but I would still be looking for the drop. 
I mean, if this doesn't get any better, GN, there's no – guys, look at this. Come on now. Look, there's literally – GN is nothing in this area. There's, there's nothing up here. There's nothing. The next high is all the way over here. I don't think that's going to get all the way over here no time soon. I really, really don't, honestly. I really don't. Okay, and two reasons why I'm saying that is because this mirror image, right? If I put a line right here, you see how the left side look like the right side? Okay, this mirror image has already been formed. So what does that mean? What does it mean when one mirror image has already been formed? What has to happen next? Who knows? What has to happen next? When one mirror image, the left side, has, when the left side, when the right side creates what was originally over here on the left side, okay, what has to happen to the right side? It has to do with what? Do the same. That's the start to, to form the left thing. side. That's the start. There it is. That is the start to form of a left side, right? So look, we have to recreate a new. Uh oh, that's not it. We have to recreate what was originally over here on the left side, and we got to recreate it on the right side. The left side, flip it, now turns. What was the right side, okay? Now turns to the left side. See how I did that? Look how we, get a, look how we may get a nice little perfect M, okay? M pattern just like that and we could participate looking look be looking for it to potentially drop either way we're still dropping either way we're still going to be looking for the drop so if that's doing that that way euro gbp must be doing it in the opposite way right let's look at your gbp euro gbp on the daily right uh, let's go to weekly on the weekly Everything down here was resistance. Everything. Everything up here was clearly support. Okay? Right now, Euro GBP looks like one of the best pairs to potentially trade, in my, in my opinion, from what I'm seeing, because you're just, you're just, this is too easy. I've never known a market where you can show up every single day, draw two lines on your chart, and literally sell and buy at the high and at the low each time. They don't even teach this in kindergarten. And it's, this is easier than kindergarten. Man, I can't make this stuff up. Literally going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. Let's just see how many pips this is. I'm going to be looking to buy this. 753 pips to the upside could we potentially break absolutely if we do we know how to react we wait for the retest and we keep selling which that means gbps are going to keep buying it doesn't matter but right now the best opportunity is every time it came down here in the past it reversed Right? Don't believe me. Let's see what everybody else is saying. You guys know I love checking to see what everybody else is saying. There's nothing wrong with that. Cheat in the Forex market. Why not? Right? You're a GBP. Most of you guys take signals. You cheat when you take signals. Cheat when you're looking at somebody else's work too. <laughs> Why not? Let's see what people are saying about your GBP. Right? Tradingview.com. Let's go to see if we can find the newest. I want to see what somebody did for the newest markup. Right? Look at this person. Seven hours ago, he said this is going to go low. Seven hours ago, this person said this is going to go low. They're saying, look, it's going to bounce here. That, that area. Looks like they may even have a little, a little divergence from something. Let me look. Let's see what they, what they got pulled up. MACD, 
Look at that. Look at that divergence, right? right? Let's talk about divergence for a second, right? If you don't know what divergence is, divergence is when you see on an indicator, right? It could be TDI, MACD, any, any indicator. But when you see price, look how price itself is pushing to the downside. But on the indicator, it's saying price is pushing to the upside. That is clear divergence. That is what we call divergence. Right? When you see price pulling down and price pulling up, just like that, that's clear divergence. Right? That's extra, that's extra confirmation within market structure, extra confirmations to tell you, to give you confidence to say, man, okay, you know what? I think this is gonna go long. I think this is really gonna go in my favor. Okay. So your GBP going up, right? Let's look at UCAD. We're going to get through these pairs tonight. UCAD, right? All right, UCAD. So UCAD on the weekly, right? Let's see. Let's check a look at what UCAD is doing. Right? UCAD, I'm going to put a line chart here. Let me see what I see. All right? I don't really like the weekly. I'm going to go down to the daily. Okay, I like the daily. The daily, I see from this peak here, this peak here, this is a clear trend line. Just gotta draw it right down it. It's like this. Okay. And after this peak was formed, I probably would have I probably would have put it here, honestly. I probably would have honestly put it there. Okay? Just like that. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to clone it. I'm going to go to the opposite end, which is about right here. Okay. I have rejection here, rejection here, rejection here, here, here. All right. I'm going to candle it. Oh, man, that looks really good. Look at that. I didn't even see this here, this, this form. Look at that. This wick. Watch. Boom. So now, obviously, this is a clear downtrend. So the best opportunities to take are sales, okay? Now, I'm not sure if one of these were, I don't know, man. If, if you could have saw this here, just from drawing a trend line, I'm not sure if this was NFP today. But look, it was resistance. You should have been doing nothing but selling. Look what it did. This did nothing but create a, a which is what I call a crown, right? But it came up here, it hit the high multiple times to form a, a big M. Now it just looks like it's forming a nice little head and shoulders, right? What's with all these head and shoulders? Look at this. Oh my gosh. So what do you think I'm gonna be doing for UCAD? UCAD on the daily, guys. I swear, if you guys do not take this trade, man, I don't know what to tell you. Mega resistance. You know what? I'm I'm gonna call this one. Let's what? Let's let's call this one. Let's call it actually. I I like this, right? I'm gonna call a trade. I don't call trades often unless I'm stupid confident about them. You guys hardly ever see me call a trade, but when I call it. Right? Who who in here? I'm just out of curiosity. Who in here took that gold trade the last time I posted it in the group? Anybody take that gold trade and profit off of it? Anybody take that gold I trade did. and make so much? Who's that? I heard somebody say they did. That gold trade was nice. It was fire, exactly. <laughs> that thing was fire, man. We had a perfect entry. Stop loss didn't get hit. It was about 75 pips to the downside. Right, so I'm gonna call this one. Same thing, right? I'm gonna be looking for, honestly, on a one hour time frame, because I'm gonna take this off to one hour. What I'm looking for, this is what I'm gonna be looking for, because honestly, this is, this is a retest. That, that's a clear retest of that zone. This is what I'm looking for. I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna put a sell stop about right in here. This is gonna be our sell stop. 
okay? Because we don't know what this thing going to do. We don't know if it's just going to come straight down or, or if it's going to give us a pullback. I'm hoping it gives us a pullback. I'm hoping I'll get an end pattern like this. And then we'll get the drop, okay? I'm going to tell you guys how to trade this one. So you wait to see what the market is going to do first. You don't want to just enter it. You don't know what we're going to do. Wait to see what the market's going to do. See if you get a nice pullback. If you do, fine. Put a sell stop. If you see that M pattern form like this, put a sell stop right below that M pattern, right? So in this case scenario, I'm just going to say, for instance, here, right? We're going to draw this out like it, like it may happen like this. I don't know. We're going to draw it out like it may happen like this. Put a sell stop right there. You can take that trade, honestly. Your stop loss is going to be above this high. Wherever, that, wherever you see it starting to come down, that is your stop. And you can take this trade back down. Your first take profits here. It will break this area. It will break it. Your second take, so your first take profit, let me label this. Price, price, price. Your first take profit is going to be here, TP1. Second take profit is going to be here, TP2. And third take profit is going to be down here, TP3. I'm calling that. You're not going to have that much, right? Now, granted, if, if, you're, if you're a swing trader, okay, now, if you're, if you're a big-time swing trader, okay, because I'm telling you how you can do this on, a, you know, intraday, intraday traders, you can enter it like this. Every time you hit a take profit, fine. You wait for a retest. If it retests, you keep selling. You sell to the next take profit. That's how your intraday traders work, okay? I'm going I'm to move this like here just so you guys can see why, I, why I'm saying these areas, okay? Take profit one, take profit two, take profit three. Now, if you're a big time, if you're a big time swing trader and you want to just swing this thing out, by all means do it. Put your stop here. You will be fine. Eh, not that big, but up here. Right there at that high. Put your stop there, right? So if you were to enter this trade, come straight Monday, which is fine for those big time traders, okay, swing traders, you would be looking at, let's see. You would be looking at, what am I looking for? Oh, short position. All right, I would still wait for a pullback, but you would be looking at a 72 pip stop, but the reward is going to be almost 200 pips. That's good risk to reward ratio. Use proper risk. I'm telling you guys that's going to happen. If you get this pullback, go ahead and put your stop there. Your, your risk, honestly, your risk is going to be a little bit better. I'm really hoping for that pullback. We may, may not get it. I don't know. But if you do, if you get that pullback, expect a drawdown of maybe, not even a drawdown, but expect you could probably put yourself a nice 20 pip stop and you could probably target. 87 pips, 130, or go ahead and go for the four 200. That's going to happen. I'm calling it. Mark my words on that one. Somebody, somebody send me a picture once that hits. I'm going to take it myself. <laughs> but send me your picture once it, once it hits. I'm telling you that's going to happen. That is going to happen. And it's going to be a beauty. So moving on. Does, it, does anybody got any questions about UCAD before I move forward? How, how I'm predicting where we're going to land up at. Talk about, talk about flying like eagles right there. Where we're going to be flying straight down. Whew. Straight down in the money. Hey, Jeff, what are your numbers on your, where are you setting your sell stop? So my sell stop is going to be, I don't have an exact sell stop, but okay. as of right now, I would, as of right now, I, if you were to put a sell stop in, I will put a sell stop right here. 1.32400. That would be okay. my sell stop. 
Okay, I thank like, you. I just like even numbers. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. UJ. Mm-hmm. UJ. Going back to the daily. Right? We've been following UJ for a while, guys. We've been following for a while. Right? UJ. I love this daily. Here. This line chart here. Because this daily. Right? You guys probably see it off the weekly better. Let me do the weekly. But from this point, straight down here, okay, was doing nothing but just downing, downtrending, okay? Now, some of you guys are like, right, well, Jeff, why didn't you start from up here? Well, that's fine, so you can start here and you can just draw it down here. It doesn't matter. Either one of them are fine, okay? It doesn't matter. I just like this one better. It's just a little bit closer. All right, so take that line, clone it all the time. Take it to the opposite end. I'm going to take this end here. Why did I stop here and not down here? Right? You can go down here. Well, actually, let's just go down here. Right? Let's see if we can get a wick here. If we do, fine. That's valid. Boom. There it is. Oh, I, I like that wick even better. Right? That's really valid. Now, so I'm looking at all this resistance from here. Clear resistance, here, here. Clear support, here, here. This is obviously trending downward, okay? So, on the daily, understand the daily, we had this trend here. So the daily was an uptrend. On the big daily scale, we had a nice uptrend. Uh-oh, look what happened. Right, let's clone this line. You guys are seeing this in action. It's finally a pair that looks different. <laughs> but look at this. You're seeing this in action. Let's bring in, this was originally support. This was originally resistance up here. Let's go to the four hour. Well, what happened? Look, what happened? We got an impulse, right? See that? This is an impulse. We have not got a retest of this zone yet. I understand that. This is not a retest. In order for me to take this as a retest, I want to see it come here. Retest it. I want to see it retest it, really retest it. Then drop. I'm looking for the drop. I'm looking for the drop. Now, granted, the start of next week, this W here, because, I mean, this looks like a clear, nice little W, honestly. From here, up to here, down to here. If this holds, this will go up. If this level, right, two ways you could trade this one. Check it out. Watch this. Don't think you missed the move. I promise you, you have it. There's still more money in here, right? Still more money in the market to be given away. You still have time to make your millions. You will make your millions, I promise you. Right? But look at here. You have this area. You have to respect that area. Even if you look left, you have to respect it. Every time it hit here, it, it rose. You have to respect this area. Well, because it is below this daily trend line that we drew, Everything over here was buying. Now we're looking for everything over here selling. Okay? Understand that. So if this does not pull up to here and it does this, you wait for the retest and you keep selling. I am literally saying the same stuff over and over again. I am not changing anything. My bias is still the same. Retest and pull down. Right? Let's just check and see what everybody else is. I'm curious for this one. Let's see if somebody has similar markups to me. And I, guys, I promise you, I did not go through all these charts and, you know, see what everybody else had and it come to you, right? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. 
But let's take a look. Let's look at some other some other ideas for UJ. I'm not really a UJ fan myself, but because because it moves super slow. But I mean, let's just take a look. Anything can happen. Okay, so we got on this guy saying based off of the hour. What did I say? Respect that zone. This may rise. Respect it. Okay, but I want to show you guys something. Do you see that? You see that? Do you guys look at this? I can't make this up, guys. Seriously. Look at where the first the first one we looked at that was made an hour ago. An hour ago. But look at this. Look at exactly where what's the lows. Look at exactly where this guy has this coming up to. He's got it coming right up here. Not all the way up to the top. Okay. But right here at this level, this zone. Where do I have this coming up to? Hot dog, that same zone. Not all the way up, but right at that zone. See that? That same zone. I think his was up a little bit further. Maybe like right there. But you guys get the idea. Maybe maybe they'll consolidate over here a little bit. All right. With the same exact zone. And then for the drop. I'm just curious to see if anybody's waiting for the drop. Uh, we'll probably see some shorts in here somewhere. Long, long. This guy say long, back up to the trend line. Long. <laughs> Look at this one. I can't make that up, right? He's either saying it's going to go long or it's going to go short. Either one, we're going to take advantage of it. If it goes short, it's going to break, retest. Look, guys, if I'm saying this stuff, it, it can't make it up. He's saying it's going to come back up here to that line. Can't make that up. Look, it retested. Okay? So that's you, Jay. You, Chef. Right? I think somebody said they wanted to look at you, Jay. Was it? I think it's Shirley. Shirley, you understand how we got our bias on you, Jay? I'm not trying to call you out, but... Hey... Surely, if you got that, just let me know. Let me know. If not, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. All right. Let's see. You chef. You chef. Oh, man. Look at you chef, guys. You chef. Look at this. We can just take this daily here. Man, this is it. Gosh, these trades are so easy. Look at that. Multiple rejections here. Multiple rejections there. Our only bias for you, Chef, saying this is a nice W formation. Okay? Look. Look at all these Ws, guys. Look, just look at this. Look at this W. W. Ugly W, still a W. Still a W, doesn't matter. But look at all these W's that formed down here. And what happened? What happened after all these W's formed down here? This thing rose, man. Guys, come on. Does, does this right here not look like these similar ones over here? Are you guys seeing that? You guys seeing that? Right? Yes, sir. See that? So I'm, I'm looking for this to go up. I, I don't have any other bias. What happened on the left side happened on the right. I just don't have any other bias. Maybe this could pull. Could this potentially pull back? Form a bigger W? Absolutely. But I'm still looking, for, I'm still looking to buy. I would not be looking to sell right here. Absolutely not. Not not here at this level. No siree. Not me. I'm not doing it. I'm not looking to sell right here. I'm looking to buy all day long. This could easily pull back a little bit and just shoot up. I don't know. 
So I already made that W. My entry should have been down here somewhere. After I saw the second leg of this W, I, I really should have been in this trade. Honestly, you chef, I should have been in right here somewhere. I should have been in there. Maybe on the 60 minute time frame, maybe, okay, we had resistance here. See, that's already, see, I can't, I can't complain about that. That's already coming, that's already here practically to retest this, this breakout. It was consolidating, right? And it broke out. Now it's got to retest to keep going. It's already doing that. 15 minutes, you probably can see it better. Look at that. It made even a smaller W on the 15 minute, right there. Already. This candle tells you a lot. Right, that's probably going to keep going all right, automatically. I mean, it going along. You chef go along. Your USD. Right? Didn't somebody say you want to look at EU? I think. Yep. Nicole? EU. Let's take a look at it. Daily. Man, EU is so funky. I love it, though. I love it. It's funky, though. But you got this big old down slope, slope thingy thingy here. I'm going to call it a thingy thingy. Right? I like, I like to make trading fun, guys. Like, the, you know, trading it, you, it's, you can get serious with it, but don't get too serious with it. Right? You lose money, you get too serious. Make it fun. You guys got to make this, make this a fun experience for you. Like, if you, have to, if you have to talk to your trades, if you have to, you know, seduce them and, you know, all this other stuff, fine, do it. Right? If it makes you feel better about trading in your experience, right, do it. Right, because you're not gonna. If you hate something, like it's just like a job, guys. If you if you hate if you hate your daily job, you're not gonna take it serious. But if you, if you love your daily job, right, when you're going into the if you love your daily job and you, and you're going to work, right, you're gonna be hyped about it, right? You sometimes you go, you'll be talking to your coworkers, you know, making funny things about it. You know, that's that's true. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. You got to do the same thing with Forex, right? Date it. It is your friend, okay? But EURUSD has been trending nothing but down. All, every time we got up here to this area, it's just been rejecting. EURUSD, I'll also tell you that EURUSD usually try to follow GU a little bit, right? So GU, I mean, just off the look at this, right? Who, who, said, who said they want to look at EU? I'm going to let you ask. Nicole, yes. you still on this call? Yes. Nicole, what do you think? What do you think EU is going to do? Uh, I'm in that sell right now. So uh, I'm just thinking it was going to sell down. And I put a, I think it's going to come down to the bottom or perhaps, yeah, I think it's going to come down to the bottom. I, I couldn't have said it any better. Anybody in disagreements with Nicole? Right? If you're in disagreements with Nicole, well, let me see. Let's just find out. If you if you are in agreement with what Nicole said, right? I want you to just type two in the chat box for me. If you're in agreement to that, type two in the chat box. I can't type, but I agree. <laughs> if you're not in agreement, <laughs> sorry, type I'm one. driving. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're not in agreement. Type one. All right. And don't be scared to type one if you don't understand. Right? If you don't understand, type one. We'll explain it. So, Nicole, I have to say, you, you, it looks like you got a good trade. You got a good trade in, ahead of you. Honestly, if I, if I was to zoom in on it and do some, you know, diagnostics on it, I clearly see – it looks – you know, you can't really see it too much, but, but I, I see this M for me. Mm -hmm. That's what I see. I see that M. Yes, some of you guys may say, well, Jeff, I see that small M, I see that small W. But I see the overall big picture. That's why we go to the daily. You want to get an overall big picture of the market. I see an overall big picture of this dropping. It's the bigger picture. We're in this. We're in this. I say, honestly, you guys could probably hop in with Nicole. You know, get a, get a, get a, get a good, nice entry. Hop in. And... Put your stop loss at the high and keep taking this thing down. 
trail it as you go. Don't forget, trail it. All right? Gold. Here we go. Let's take a look at gold. Gold on the daily, right? We had enough data back here. What happened? With it? What's it? When was this? September, August, September? We can clearly see gold has been moving down, right? Look. Everybody wondering, man, why did gold sell so hard during NFP? Well, let's find out. If this came right off the trend line, do you know why? You know exactly why. Let's look here, right? I want to see a wick here. Good enough. It's close. It ain't as close as I wanted it to be, but it's close, okay? I'm going to clone that line. I'm going to do some diagnostics on gold here. Let's take a look. Look, ping, multiple rejections, right? Maybe a wick here. I don't know. Darn good. There it is, right? What happened? What happened? Right? Go. We had, I want you guys just to look left. Look at this big area here. Nice area of support. And what happened? What did I tell you guys it, it is going to do and what did gold do? Sure enough. Sure enough. Breakout, right? Because it was in this small consolidation here. Broke out, came back, pinned it. Pinned it to the T. Just pinned it. Made a M formation. What was resistance or support now turned into resistance. Pinned it, made you a nice little M formation, and got out of there. Got out of there. So what am I looking at now? Now I'm looking at this area, okay? I'm still looking at this area, right? When I zoom out, this kind of looks like steps, don't it? <laughs> looks just like steps. So my prediction is because I know gold Gives, get, go get some pips. So honestly, I'm going to be on like the one hour and 15 minutes, to be honest with you guys, for gold. It's just gold in particular, but, you know, this thing moves like crazy. So this area, first thing I'm going to be looking for is some rejections here. Maybe a W formation like this and head back up here. If I don't get that, my only other option for gold is to keep selling if it breaks if it breaks retest you keep selling this thing and you got another i promise you you have another 200 pips to the downside we have another 200 pips to the downside you keep selling but find out what it's going to do here first we don't know right now honestly only thing i can tell you right now is if you want to scout this you can you can still scalp this down. There's probably a good amount of pips. Just keep scalping. You get about 50 pips out of it. I would say you can keep scalping it down about 50 pips, honestly. But be careful. I'm not really a scalper, right? So just watch out for that, okay? Because the mirror image is almost complete. Look, if I take a line straight down the middle of this, the mirror image is almost complete. It's almost complete. What happens on the left side has to happen on the right side. Okay? So that's going to be gold. Right? Who said, who said it needed gold? I'm not sure. I don't even see you in the chat. No, somebody said it needed gold. Hopefully you understand that. All right? Any questions about gold? Got it? All right. Here we go, here we go. NZD, JPY. NZD, JPY. Does anybody even trade NZD pairs anymore? I know I don't. I stay away from NZD pairs, period. <laughs> I am not an NZD fan. The only pair that really acted up for me. 
But we still can mark it up for the NZD fans daily. Okay. <laughs> Remember I did last week and it killed me. I don't mess with NZD. NZD likes to spike on you a lot. I, I can't do NZD. But NZD, here we are. We had this small trend here. I'll do all, no problem. All right. If you clone this line, right, maybe put it here. Yeah, that's, that's probably my only spot. That's probably going to be my only spot. Uh, so really, realistically, I'm looking for NZD to keep rising. NZD, JPY. I'll probably keep looking for this to keep rising, honestly. Four hour. Now, four hour. This is really sharp. We got to get a pullback. I don't think we're going to keep busting like this. It's just, it's, it's too narrow. You guys see how, the reason I'm saying it's too narrow, you see how thin this line is here? Look how thin, look, at, look how thin this is going up. This is something you learn if you keep looking at the markets, but look how thin this is going up. Usually when you typically see something that thin going up like this, look how thin this was going up. You, you typically see some type of pullback on it. So, honestly, for me, I would probably just wait for a pullback, maybe come back here safest and keep, and keep buying. Honestly, I don't, I don't really see any sales coming no time soon. I'll just keep, I would honestly keep buying on that one. Um, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Woo-wee! Bitcoin. I've been calling this thing like, like crazy. All right, Bitcoin, here we go again. So Bitcoin, start from the top here. I want to draw a peak from here. I want to bring this bad boy down like this, okay? Bitcoin is coming to, and it is coming to an end, I will tell you guys that. And you're going to see some type of breakout somewhere or another. All right, I'm going to draw that there. Maybe I'll get a wick here. In these areas. Okay, I like it. What does that clearly look like, though? What does that look like? That little thing there. Looks like a W, doesn't it? Right? Yeah. Nice little du nice W formation. So, honestly, I'll, I'll be buying Bitcoin. I think, hold on, let me see something. I may have a friend. It's Spitz. Spitz, you on this call, man? Spitz, you still in this? Yo. You in this Bitcoin for a buy? Yep, been in it all day. Yeah, oh, there we go. See, I'm. I'll, I'll be buying Bitcoin. Keep, keep, keep buying Bitcoin. Honestly, I would look for take profits. Uh, really up here in this area here. That that's that's really my only. When once you get up there, honestly, I'll I'll be looking to sell come down that's my bitcoin observation yep uh, uh, i like that w formation here it's, it's just too good to, it's too good not to take honestly it's too good not to take because that's gonna be i don't know how many pips that is but you know it's almost almost 800 pips to the upside so you know if you're if you're a crypto fan you know go ahead and take that buy bitcoin you probably have a nice entry there all right. Uh, oil. Do, 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 do. WTI. Oil. Oil is the same thing. Let's look. I called it a long time ago. But oil. So oil, we have mega resistance i'm oh, sorry support and we have a resistance that was formed here okay that's what i see a resistance that was formed here so really for oil you tell me what do you think oil is going to do? 
What do you think oil is going to do? You could put a nice little trend here. If you were on a daily, you take, take it to the line chart. Mm, yep, right there. Oh, got to clone it. Can't forget that step. Clone it. Yep, there we go. There's oil. You tell me what you think it's going to do. Going to sell. I think oil is going to sell. I believe oil is going to sell. I have no multiple rejections here as resistance. Every time it got up here, we have a mirror image that's already, that's already formed out from here to here. The left side has already made it on the right side. See exactly it painted. Can't get any better than that, right? Get a little consolidation in here, right? Let's go ahead and put the bars pattern here so you can see it. Uh, from na, 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 here to here. Flip this. There you go. That's my bias. I'm looking for the sale. I'm looking for this to flip and sell. I'm pretty sure that was a news event. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that was a news event. Yeah, I believe oil did have OPEC news this, this week. I drove that up, or was that today? Oh, nope, that was today, so that's probably NFP. NFP probably drove that up like that. I'll be looking to drop it down now. Look for some type of pattern while you're up here. Maybe this is the left side of a head. I'm sorry, left side of a shoulder. Maybe this is our head, potentially. Maybe we can get a right shoulder here, something like this, and maybe we can keep dropping. That's my bias. You could probably honestly sell this right now. I'm not going to say don't. Well, you could probably honestly sell it and not put a stop loss on it. and You probably make some money on it coming down here. But if you do put a stop loss, I would, I, I'd say sell it and put your stop loss at that high up there. You, you'll probably still make some money coming down. Uh, well, I can almost guarantee you, you will. Easy stuff. All right. So I'm going to open the, open the, you know, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to open, open it up for questions, comments, concerns. What can I help you with that, that you need help with? What, what have you been struggling? I don't care if it's stop loss issue. I don't care what, what it is. If you're not successful in trading, right? If you're, if you're constantly losing or blowing accounts, what, 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 what is going on? Let me help you, right? Let me be your mentor for the next, you know, however many minutes, whatever. And let's, let's talk, right? Let's open the mics up. Let's talk, right? So if you got any questions, just go ahead and unmute yourself and, you know, ask away. Crickets. <laughs> So it looks like somebody said something about entry. What about entry? Be more, a little bit more specific. Are you struggling with getting in the trade or are you struggling with just not taking the entry when you see it? After the flag break. So after it breaks the flag, it goes the other way. Okay. So for that, I would say use some type of indicator. MACD is my favorite. MACD can confirm your entry. Use something else, you know, alongside your market structure when you're marking your charts up. Uh, use something else that will give you a confirmation, okay, because that's what indicators are for. Don't get it mixed up. 
Indicators are used for confirmation basis, okay? Use that in confirmations. You guys see we didn't use no indicators tonight, but, you know, um, you know, let me just give you an example what I'm talking about. So let's just say MACD. I love the MACD. Okay. Regular sentence, 12, 26, 9. All right. You see, I said don't enter this trade just yet. Wait for a pattern. I, I said that. Right. But when MACD crosses over, typically you'll get that, that notion of, you know, you'll get that trade you're looking for. See? When MACD crossed over here, right, you had a little drawdown, right? But what did I say? Put your stop loss at high. Never really got stopped out. MACD stayed going down and look, nice profit. Right? So same thing, looking for the same thing here. I will wait for MACD to cross, take your entry, and as long as MACD stays going down, stay in the trade. I'm on NZD USD on a sell and didn't set a stop loss, and I'm down a whole lot. Some of y'all, y'all got to explain this no stop loss thing to me. I know my aunt does it, but Y'all got to explain this no-stop-loss thing to me. Because I've gotten burnt plenty of times not using it. I'm just curious. Why, why do you guys not use a stop-loss? What is the main reason you don't use a stop-loss? I mean, if you've been successful using it, keep using it. But what, what is the main reason you, you don't use a stop-loss? So Jeff, you said it's... Um... It, it, if, if you know you're on the right side of the trade, very seldom do people use stop loss. Yeah, true. I mean, if you're on the right side of the trade, you don't have to use the stop loss. You don't. But, I mean, it's still recommended. I'm not going to say don't use it. It's still recommended to use a stop loss. Somebody said they're, they're hoping for the reversal. All right. I'm glad you said that because hoping – for the reversal hoping is not part of trading i'm not picking on anybody but hoping is it's not trading you can't hope for a trade to go in your favor i mean you, you can hope for it but if, if rules don't meet if all right guys understand everything i've said today is there's a set of rules whether it's whether it's the impulse and you wait for the retest and then you enter the trade that's a set of rules, okay? So hoping for a reversal, you have to see, you have to see something happen before you, before you enter that trade, right? Have, have the verbiage that I'm wanting to use is use a confluence of events that happening that you can physically see, right? Because we don't, we don't trade blind out here, right? We're not blind traders, right? find something right and if you can't find anything let me help you out with that i can help you find something whatever your strategy is it doesn't matter i can help you find something you know but let me help you find something to you know tweak your strategy so you you see a confluence of events that are happening and because what, what you guys need to understand right some of you guys don't understand this yet but understand that you guys need to do the same thing over and over and over again. Every time I've been marketing on my charts, I've been doing the same thing over and over again. You guys need to do that. You need to, you need to have it fixed. You need to have something fixed, I believe, in order for you to be a successful trader. If you have something fixed, you can do it over and over again. You're going to make money over and over again. Is that, am I making sense? Am I making sense here? Right? Mm -hmm. you, you have to be able to go in the market, see something, and take advantage of that, that what you see, right? It, because when you're hoping for a trade, you're, you're just, you're going in the market, you're saying, man, I believe this thing is going to drop. You know, I'm not picking or nothing, but I believe this thing is going to drop. I'm believing myself, but I believe this thing is going to drop. God, God pray that this thing drop and then the trade doesn't go in your favor. And then you're blaming God because the trade didn't go in your favor because you were hoping it was going to go in your favor. Am I making sense? Yes. Hope, hoping is not trading. It's, it's just not. Right? The indicator that was used for divergence is actually was MACD. It is MACD. That's the one that the guy had. All right? So, you know, I'm not trying to offend anybody or anything like that. 
you know, but it's the truth, guys. I want you all to make money. I want you all to be a millionaire, okay? Um, but I want you to do it the right way. That's all I'm saying. Just want you to do it the right way. I got a kind heart, you know, but you guys got to do it the right way. If you want to, if you want to make money the right way, you got to follow a set of rules and and stick to them every single day. Because if you do, then you're gonna make money every single day. It's just, it is just, it's just that simple. It is that simple. M patterns. Why do I like M patterns? Because every time I see an M pattern, this thing goes the opposite direction. Every time I see an M pattern, it goes the opposite direction. I know every time I see an M pattern, I can put my stop loss at the high every single time, and that is a safe spot to put it. And I hardly ever got stopped out. Same things that go for Ws. Look, clear W. I see the second leg forming. I know I could put my stop loss at that low because it hardly ever gets taken out. That's why I use M and Ws all the time. I don't know anything about the Gartley bat, you know, none of that stuff. You know, I I'm not with all that, but I, I know M's and Ws. I can tell you about that. That's pre preschool stuff. Okay. But uh, good questions. Well, I don't even know if that was a question, but um, maybe a good statement. Yep, I'm here. I wanted to make a comment about the um, stop loss. So one of the things when I first started trading, I would put my stop too close and uh -huh. knock me out. And so I would get frustrated with it. But as you say, I got burned with it. So I learned when I learned how to properly place it, then I realized the value of having one. You know, exactly. Yeah. Right. I'm glad you said that because let me, let me tell you guys what my mentor personally told me. Right. And, and, and I'm just going to ask you guys a question, right? <laughs> it's a simple question. Would you guys rather get stopped out in profit? Or would you guys rather get stopped out completely out of a trade? What would you rather do? I mean, somebody answer this question for me. Would you rather get stopped out in profit or would you rather get stopped out, period? Right? In profit, absolutely. In, in profit, right? So, right, this is where the mindset comes in because, you know, my mentor told me, because I, I struggle with that problem, as I'm telling you the truth. I struggle with that. But my mentor told me, she said, you can't go broke, you can't go broke taking your, you can't go broke taking a book and a profit. You can't go broke booking a profit. So don't get mad. What she was trying to tell me at this time, don't get mad. If your trade goes 20 pips in profit and you secure 10 and it comes back and knocks you out at 10, why are you mad? Why are you mad? Answer that question. Is, is, is it just because you, you, you I understand you, you were pissed off at the fact that you didn't get your 20 pips. But, but, but is it that you're pissed off at the fact that, you know, the market just didn't do what you wanted it to do? Oh, well, get, get with the program. It's not, the market is not going to do what you want it to do every single time. Majority of the times, if you have a winning strategy, it will. That's what my mentor told me. As I'm passing information on to you guys. Don't get mad if you move your stop loss in profit and it stops you out. Just because you had it too close. So what? You had it. So what? If you had it too close, you just had it too close. Guess what? You didn't lose the trade. <laughs> you didn't lose any money. Right? You, 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 still got to, you still got to come into the markets the next day compared to that person that, that didn't put a stop loss and they completely blew that account. For you protecting your two pips, one pip, and you got stopped out at two pips, one pip guess what? You got to come into the market the next day. Isn't the whole point about trading in this market is that you got to have money inside this market to trade in this market. But if you don't have any money outside this market and you blow your account because you didn't use a stop loss, then you're completely out of the market and game's over for you. Who am I talking to? <laughs> am I talking to anybody tonight? <laughs> Preaching over there. I mean, come on. All right. Any other questions? What what's questions? I, I'm here all night. It's a Friday. I ain't got nothing to do. I love these questions. Sometimes I'm preaching to myself. <laughs> 
Spence. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> So, guys, I mean, it, how do you know when to get into a trade, okay? How do I know when to get into a trade? I look for patterns, right? I'm going to say it again. I look for patterns. I look for M's. I look for W's. I look for MACD to cross over, confirmations that tell me when to get in a trade. I hope that answers your question in the simplest way possible. Um. That's really it. That's it. I mean, that's, don't don't overcomplicate it. That that's really how I know. I I see something on the MACD, and every time a MACD crosses over, and it's at a resistance point, I'm like, oh man, two confirmations, resistance, and MACD. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and take this trade, because majority of the time, <laughs> it it goes in your favor. All right. Can you show how to break the chart down from a higher time frame, 15 minute again on a daily or weekly scale? Yes. I will start on give me somebody give me a somebody give me a pair I looked at. I didn't look at a lot. Um is there even any more pairs to look at? Oh, I tell you what, let's look at US thirty for all US thirty people. <laughs> Why not? All right, so checking this out. Oh man, look at that. Oh man, I missed that drop. Darn it. <laughs> it was a gap down too. I could have made so much money. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, well. So, anyways, so let's just say we started on the weekly. All right, break down easy. Ooh, this looks kind of weird, but that's fine. Whatever. Weekly, you see this? All this is, res is support. See that? All this is resistance. Okay? Fine. We got that established now. Are we at resistance or are we at support based off the weekly? Yes or no? Right, type in the chat box, yes or no. Are we at resistance or are we at, are we at support? Resistance. We're at resistance. Okay. What, who else, anybody else? There's still people on this call, I know there's 25 people. Resistance, resistance. We're midway. Midway, thank you, Somebody was, somebody's looking at the charts. Come on, guys. Look at this now. No man, no one is hacking with no man's land. Hey, we are not up here at the top. This is resistance. We are not down here at the bottom. This is support. We're nowhere. We're in the middle, middle of the charts. Okay, so we have to go to a daily scale. Daily. Let's look at the daily. What do we have? All right. Well, the daily, we're looking at this. Can we draw a trend line off of this? Yes. From this high to here okay now watch i'm gonna clone it again i'm cloning every time i ain't gonna get away from it excuse me Jack. Now. yep um why you drew it from there and not from just i'm gonna call it the head all right so good question why did i draw it from here and not here because if i was to draw it from here, I would either have to draw it coming down to here, which I can't do that because that means price is on the right side, right? We want to trap price in as much as possible. So I can't draw it there. I can't draw it here because it's already broke, technically broke out of this. So I could have drew it here like this, right? But that would have been the same thing of me drawing it here and here. So what I did was I looked for multiple peaks See here, see this peak right, uh, where's my marker? Look at these multiple touches. So this is a multiple touch, multiple touch, multiple touch, multiple touch, you'll see a wick, you'll see a wick, okay? Multiple touch, multiple touch, multiple touch. I got five, five touches here, and every time it touched this line, it, 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 it dropped. So chances are, well, I ain't gonna say the answer, but you know. Um, that's just that's just the uh, that's just how you have to look at it. You, you want to get more. The more touches you have, the better off you're gonna be. The more touches you have, the better the better off that trade is is gonna go in your favor. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna clear my drawing tools for a second. All right, so now 
I'm going to ask that question again, guys. Are we at resistance or are we at support? Resistance, if you, if you think we're at resistance, type one in the chat box. You think we're at support, type two. No man's land, type three. Resistance. Somebody said it. And people typed it. Resistance, right? We couldn't see that on the weekly, so we had to go out to the daily. So US 30, oh my God, right? <laughs> We're at resistance. Okay, so obviously we have to go down to support. So we now know our bias off the daily. Now we want to find out how can we get in this trade. All right, this is where we got to go to four hour. All right, four hour, do we see any type of resistance, support? Just from looking at over here. Hmm, well, we had resistance here, okay? It did come here and touch. So, yes, that is a clear support area. All right. So, since we're at support, for hour, we now have a clear, we, we know our bias is short. Understand we know our bias is short. Okay? But, so I'm not even going to say that. If your bias is short, go short. Right, you shouldn't even be looking for this. This, this, you shouldn't even be looking at the buy period. Okay, if your bias is short, go short. So, find a reason to get in that trade. Obviously, you're not gonna buy at support, right? We're not gonna buy there. So, what are we gonna do? What should we do if our bias is short off the daily? Daily, our bias is short. Four hours, we're going in to find an entry. Right? We could even go down to the one hour. It doesn't matter. It's just the same thing. Okay? Our bias is short off the daily, daily scale. Now, I'm talking daily, right? Because we're doing this all daily, so we swing trading. Right? So, daily, short. So, what should we do? What, 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 what should we do if we, what should we want to see technical-wise? Yeah, there it is right there. Somebody typed it. Right? But what, okay, hold up. Somebody typed it, but they, they, they skipped the step. They skipped a step. There we go. There we go. That's what I was looking for, right? We're going to wait for that breakout first. Once we get that breakout, then we got to wait for that retest, okay? And then we're going to look to sell, okay? That's four hour, four hour, okay? Now, if you was an hour, right, Let's say you want to kind of scout this out a little bit. You're like, man, I don't think this thing going to break. I think it's going to go back up. Man. This is like a good entry. You said, said support. Why not buy that support, Jeff? Okay, well, fine. I understand that. Fine. You don't know what it's going to do. You really don't. So let's go to the one hour. Fine. The one hour, you're going to do the same thing. Why, why change the rules? You don't. One hour, I'm going to start from here. Find my peak, 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 peak. I'm going to draw a line down. Actually, like from here. I'm going to kind of just draw this peak here. Okay? Fine. See that? I like it. See? Peak, peak, peak. Okay? This, the, you, you can clone this. You don't have to, but you, you can. If you clone it, it just looks like this. Okay? But if your bias is going long, <laughs> okay, right? Let's see, let's see if we can get this right. If your bias is going long because you say, this is at this area here. Could this go long? Absolutely. I ain't going to doubt it. It can't. Right? Could this go long? Yes. But if your bias is going long, what do you think you should wait for in order to take this trade safely going long? What do you think you should wait for? Pull back. Not pull back. The break. The break of what? Break out of what? Break of structure. Break of support. structure. Break of support. Break of all that stuff, right? We want to break. Well, and if you said support, you're talking about this right here, okay? Because that was originally support. So you want to find a breakout of this area. Once you get that breakout, you want to look for that retest. And then you want to go 
long. You see how you confirm that trait there? Plus MACD, if you was using MACD, look, MACD still saying sell anyway. You wait for MACD to cross over. But look, you can confirm, everything over here in, inside here is selling, right? Let me show you guys something, right? Check this out, this is crazy. Everything, if you know everything over here is selling, okay? If you know everything's over here selling, obviously when this starts to go up and pull back, chances are you can probably put some type of trend line on it like this. Look. Then you got even more confirmation. You're like, oh man, yeah, this is really good. Yep. Oh yeah. Right? That can be the safe side. You don't have to catch this first initial move up here. You don't have to catch that. Right? You can see all your friends posting it on Facebook. Oh man, I call you as 34. 500 pips. So what? So what? You knew that move was coming and you could catch it for more. The second leg, because let me, let me tell you what your friends are doing on Facebook, right? I'm not calling nobody out or nothing, but your friends are taking the first leg up here and they're like, man, I just profited like crazy. But because you were patient and you waited for it to come back, you were like, man, I really just profited like crazy and I don't have to boast it on Facebook. I'm just being real. You can boast stuff on Facebook, but I'm just being honest. Right? All right, cool. <laughs> uh... <laughs> All right, any other questions, guys? Anybody have any other questions? Ooh, we went long tonight, didn't we? I mean, y'all learn something? Y'all learn anything tonight? Some of yes, y'all probably sleep. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. Y'all not sleep. <laughs> good, mm -hmm. good, good. I'm, I'm excited, guys. Well, guys, um, that is it for tonight. I'm going to let you guys go. It's, it's pushing up on 10, 10, 18 Eastern time. But I thank you guys all for hopping on. Um, Yet again, guys, this is Mr. Investor Jay, also known as Jeff Money Making Kirkland. You guys have a good rest of your week and goodbye. I will post that link too, as well, that YouTube right, link. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, you Jeff. You're welcome.